what's up guys welcome back my name is rusty welcome back to another video of this semi truck rebuild this is my 2019 volvo semi truck this is part six if you guys did not watch any other parts of this rebuild i advise you guys to go ahead and go back and rewatch everything part one through five it, it describes how i got it uh, from copart how it looked and now we are here because we have the suspension to do we took off the suspension last uh, episode and now we're gonna go and get all the brand new suspension well we use suspension we're gonna get the new leaf springs and stuff like that and also this cab is fully bolted off and it's ready to come off but we have to take care of this def system I got the brackets taken off right there for the it was covered up a little bit right here and i explained to you guys that it was damaged it sucks that it's damaged but i was just praying to god that it is a two-part system and guess what it's a two-part system there's bolt right there a little bracket to take this part off and a little bracket so this piece right here comes off and the actual depth filter is right there and it is in good condition thank god it is not damaged just this piece is damaged i mean i'm just letting you know guys this part right here is really expensive this part is also but we'll see how much it is if it's like six seven hundred bucks even a thousand i have no choice but to buy it it's okay we're gonna go ahead right now and unbolt it and check up inside of here and also i know you guys see this this is oil when i started the truck uh, i'm guessing some of the oil uh, from the pistons uh, the truck started smoking obviously it was upside down and some of the oil looked like it started leaking from this exhaust i'm hoping i'm just hoping that there's not a lot of oil that went into this dev system because if there's a lot of oil in there i have to take this off and clean this dev system out before i actually start running the truck for really long periods of time because the oil starts clogging up the little tiny holes that's in this um dev filter so yeah we'll get to it we're gonna go ahead and um unscrew this portion right here and check what's what's in here We go cover is off here's our cover on the back of the cover this is like literally nothing it just air goes to one side to the other side and here is our def felt uh dtf filter or whatever you call it on these new models look at this this whole filter comes out and it's exchangeable it's pretty cool on the older models it was a two-part system where the whole thing needed to be changed but this is pretty cool it's smaller i don't know how much longer it would last with it being this small but we'll see i guess and all we need is this new cover i guess we'll get it from the dealer or something like that i don't know yet so we'll see i'm gonna go ahead and cover this up so you know no water gets in there just in case put the cover away put these brackets it's away and i guess we're gonna go get the leaf springs and stuff like that from my buddy's place uh he has like a semi truck junkyard so we'll see what he has for me all right we are here and this is where volvo's come to die volvo graveyard he's got some cabs not my type of cab though he's got too big that he has 780s and all that we got some tanks right here but they're kind of old we're looking for something newer brackets nicely straight graveyard we're about to go get some parts we need probably unscrew some stuff here and there and i'll show you guys what we picked up all right guys it's been a couple days now 
and this is the parts we got from our buddy at his Volvo junkyard I'm um, I call it a junkyard but this is the place of his work so you know he's been collecting a bunch of Volvos as parts and he rebuilds them also so what we got from him are these pretty much brand new leaf springs complete why I had to get both is because I thought I only had one bent one but we measured them by millimeter and both of them were deleted they were done uh, I was not gonna risk it so I just got a pretty much used set but they look new now I'll explain why we also got a used tank fuel tank diesel tank whatever you want to call it 150 gallon we're gonna upgrade it from 125 and we also got the exhaust stand right there that we took off from our old one we also already you know got the rear brackets ready because we have uh, some work to do in the rear end and then the rear bracket for the strut in the rear and also from the dealer we got these new u-bolts this is my old u-bolts they you know pretty ratchet because they got deleted we also got a steering link from him uh sorry from the dealer this is a brand new one from the dealer that was 125 bucks these u-bolts four four of them it cost me a hundred bucks and then we got the new steering gearbox which i'm not going to tell you guys exactly how much i paid for it because it's a ridiculously low price but it's exactly the same one if it's exactly the same it is an older model one but um, i'm letting you guys know right now that it's been refreshed and you know i've painted them so i cleaned them all off and got these these painted i'm not going to tell you exactly how much i got each of these items for but i will tell you the exact price i got them all together for so from the that used junkyard guy i got the tank two leaf springs the steering gearbox uh these brackets right here and also the exhaust brackets uh i paid total uh wait did i mention the the yeah the gearbox also i paid total 450 bucks for all those items i don't know if you guys know but that's ridiculous cheap so that's awesome I'm, I'm glad this guy exists in my location so next step is I'm gonna gather all these together move this one to that side this one to the other side and we're gonna start assembling this front end We got the leaf springs all connected right here so this side it ended up being pretty good same as same as this side pretty much we had to um, use some of this gear uh, lubrication whatever it's called the grease and we had to put it around that bolt the main bolt that holds up these uh, springs also this little nipple right here we're also gonna have to uh, squeeze some more grease in there 
so it's all lubricated and you know rolling all free and fine so next step I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do so I need to adjust uh, this front axle so it fits exactly into the groove of this plate and this plate goes straight on top of this right here and then new u-bolts these u-bolts you know go straight inside right here and then I have I have my um, what is this called the sway bar bushings that go inside here this actually bolts straight onto the bottom like this and then on the other side there's uh, this bracket right here that goes on the bottom and that's it pretty much we're gonna fast forward it for you guys put these on connect everything correctly It's getting late now and as you guys can tell we have finished pretty much the leaf spring part of the front suspension we're missing is the front struts yeah the shadow and the Sun's kind of in the way but as you guys can see it's pretty much done drum brakes are gone so it's hanging by itself now we are not done yet. We still need to take apart this, make sure the bearings are okay. Change this right here, because uh, when it was in the accident, it broke right there. This little piece broke. So that cover needs to be changed. And we're gonna go ahead and check the bearings also, make sure there's no play in them. Do the maintenance on it, make sure the brakes are still okay. And the sway bar link, where it's gonna go on next. We're still gonna go to the dealer, pick up the struts, and we'll go from there pulling up to volvo right now and i'm going to explain you guys something real quick that <laughs> this volvo dealership in jacksonville florida is such a ripoff these people these sales parts people cannot give you a straight price i call in to get uh struts for my front struts for my semi truck and this guy quotes me hundred and three dollars I was like, okay, I call in a couple days later, some other guy picks up, quotes me $90 per strut. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird, you know? And then I think, I don't know, I think a week later I call and they quote me $80. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what kind of service these people at Volvo in Jacksonville, Florida, I don't know what the heck they're doing, but I think they have like a commission system or something that these people get, I'm guessing, per part. So let's see how much they charge me for these struts. We're back at the yard and two front, two new front struts, shocks, whatever you want to call them. And they charged me 179 wood tax, so one, so it pretty much ended up being uh, pretty much $84 each. And I try to ask him, I'm like, why do I, every time I call, there's a different price? And he just couldn't give me a straight answer, but he did admit that they are not on commission. So they do not get commission per parts, but I think he was lying, I'm not sure. So yeah, let's put these on real quick. there's an issue I'm not gonna go too deep with it 
but this bracket and so is the other side they are both bent by not a lot by very little but this is pretty much supposed to line up with this but you guys can tell that this is slightly twisted this way we're gonna need new brackets I knew that I needed them I was just wasn't 100% sure until I started installing the new uh, the new shocks but I went ahead and went to my Volvo used guy and got some brackets for very expensive price of five dollars each so that was pretty expensive and also I got a this is my um, the what is this the sway bar cover right here this one's still good it's a little bent I'm gonna bend it out it's literally just a piece of metal I went ahead and made a new piece of metal I have a fab guy right here local towards me you know he, he did it for about 25 bucks it's not bad I'm gonna paint it scuff it paint it and it's gonna look exactly like this piece so I'm not this dealer wanted 40 bucks for this piece of metal I was like yeah okay whatever so yeah we're gonna go ahead and unscrew both those brackets and clean these brackets off install those brackets and install the shocks finally Alright, the shocks are in. The brackets fit very nicely and everything is coming along really good. The suspension is starting to look like it's brand new pretty much. Same thing as this side. We got everything put together. So next step is to change this uh, steering box tie rod or whatever it's called. Pretty much is the bar that goes to the box right here and connects to the actual axle. I guess that big bar right there is the tie rod, but we're gonna go ahead and change this one. We bought a brand new from the dealer because this is the old one right here. It looks like it got damaged. I don't know if you guys can tell. Look how, how off that is. Maybe it's the way it's laying, but there's the new one all the way back there with the white cap on, and this is the old one. It goes down like this, and look at that. It's bent really bent. So we're gonna go ahead and install this new one. Whew, closer and closer we get to the end, almost, very close. Here we go, I installed this bar, the steering bar, or whatever it's called. Lastly, for this suspension, we have the brackets for the sway bar and links. So here's our old, man, the shadow. Okay, so here's our old sway bar and links. Remember guys, I told you that one of the links was bent. Sway bar is good, it's not bent. But check it out, there's the used sway bar link that was bent, now it's all straightened out. And this sway bar was good. Look at that, magic. We just straightened it out, it's just a sway bar link, you know. It's not a big deal. Banged it with a hammer a couple times, it's all good. So this belongs down there. We're not gonna put it there because we're missing one of the bushings that goes on this side. A couple days they'll come in, we'll install this sway bar and bushings. So it's gonna look really nice. The suspension is finally done. And guess what guys, the cab is about to come off and we've installed the new tires on the forklift. Let me show you. We've done some maintenance on our forklift. 
we greased up all of these locations where the chain runs and a metal comes together and there's our new tires installed these are not solid rubber tires and there's the back <laughs> this thing goes really good now last time we were getting stuck in the sand we couldn't even lift anything in the sand and the forklift was getting stuck we literally had to pull the forklift out with the semi truck Well, the parts truck is sold. And it's getting towed exactly the way I told my truck. So I guess deuces for this truck. He'll make it, I think. They're not going too far. <laughs> at least we got another lot cleared all right guys sorry i do not have time to take off the cab just now but i promise the beginning of this uh next episode i will take off the cab for you guys it's just been a hassle today i've done a lot a lot of work installing all the new suspension parts uh going back and forth to the dealer getting all these little things here and there yeah, it's been quite a day so 100 percent next episode the cab is coming off i promise you guys I know it's been <laughs> tough uh, these uh, last couple episodes doing little stuff here and there but the cab is about to come off I promise so yes yeah, stay tuned to the next episode guys I appreciate it for watching deuces